These eight MK party members were sworn in as members of parliament along with two EFF representatives. Lucky Montana, former Prasa CEO, Brian Molefe, former ESCOM and Transnet CEO, Mzwanele Mani, former GCIS CEO and Jacob Zuma Foundation spokesperson, and Siabonga Gama, former Transnet CEO. The new EFF MPs are Nazir Paulson and party spokesperson Sinawo Tambo. Kwaza mkonto kwaza. Kwaza. Where we excel, others don't even exist. Yeah? They replaced Floyd Shivambu and Mani after their defection to MK Party. Today we witness a, an historic moment in the swearing in of experienced and capable black professionals such as myself who were politically marginalized and sidelined by the ANC of Cyril Ramaphosa. We sit here before you as public servants and members of the National Assembly representing the people of South Africa. Klobe says the new members are an asset to Parliament because they come with a wealth of experience and expertise. That uh, we will be able to add value hmm. to Parliament because uh, we know the other side. So when, when uh, officials come to account about what they're doing in those entities, uh, when, uh, when uh, ESCOM comes and talks about a price increase, when uh, um, uh, ESCOM comes and gives us a, uh, a report about load shedding, uh, we will be able, with the knowledge from the other side, be able to ask the relevant questions. But the Democratic Alliance says the swearing-in of individuals implicated in state capture as members of parliament is a travesty and an insult to the people of South Africa. The DA claims that South Africans have suffered the devastating consequences of corruption and mismanagement under the very people now representing them in parliament. But the members hit back saying they have not been criminally charged. Aisha Ismail, Parliament.